In the thick prehistoric mist, a thunderous roar shakes the forest. The ground trembles. Each footstep pounds like a war drum. Suddenly, a giant beast crashes through the trees, its blade-like teeth bared, ready to strike. It's Tyrannosaurus Rex, the tyrant king of the Cretaceous period. But before it can unleash its roar, the nearby water begins to churn. Waves slap the muddy banks. Something even larger is rising from the swamp, Spinosaurus aegyptiacus, ruler of North Africa's wetlands. Narrow, dagger-like eyes, a snout lined with trap-like teeth, a massive sail slicing through the mist like a warship. Two apex predators, two titans, locking eyes, no escape. Only one outcome. One will rise, the other will be torn apart. Now let me ask you this. If these monsters crossed paths, who would reign supreme? The battle between T-Rex and Spinosaurus is one of the most hotly debated matchups in paleontology and pop culture. Ever since their epic clash in Jurassic Park 3, fans and scientists alike have asked, who's stronger? Who's smarter? Who would survive a death match? In this video, we'll break down everything. Body structure, speed, bite force, hunting style, habitats, and survival strategy. This won't be CGI fantasy. We're diving into real science and fossil evidence to recreate the most legendary dinosaur showdown of all time. But first, we must understand each warrior, where they came from, how they hunted, and what made them deadly in their own unique environments. Let's begin with the king, Tiki Rex. Living in North America around 66 million years ago, T.T. Rex was up to 40 feet long and nearly 9 tons. Its massive skull could crush bone, its jaws armed with teeth like steak knives. T. Rex wasn't just a predator. It was a biological war machine, fine-tuned by evolution to dominate its world. Every footstep screamed, I rule here. Then there's Spinosaurus, a completely different beast. Roaming North Africa about 95 million years ago, it may have been the largest meat-eating dinosaur ever, measuring over 50 feet long and weighing more than 10 tons. With its crocodile-like snout and massive sail, Spinosaurus ruled the water. Unlike T. rex, Spinosaurus was a semi-aquatic predator, capable of ambushing from below and charging on land. That's what makes this matchup so fascinating. It's not just strength versus strength, it's style versus style. T-Rex is like a street brawler, powerful, brutal, and relentless. Spinosaurus is the silent assassin, stealthy, strategic, and unpredictable. On land, T-Rex might dominate. Near water, Spinosaurus could turn the tide. And that is what makes this battle so unpredictable. Imagine T-Rex and Spinosaurus standing just a few feet apart, seconds away from a fatal clash. The big question is, who strikes first and harder? Let's break down their biological weapons, starting with Tyrannosaurus Rex. This beast was raw brutality. At over 40 feet long, nearly 13 feet tall at the hip, and weighing nine tons, it was essentially a walking tank. But what made T-Rex truly terrifying was its bite. T-Rex had the strongest bite force of any land animal ever, around 12,000 pounds or six tons of pressure. That's like being crushed by a freight truck. Its teeth weren't just sharp. They were thick, serrated, and capable of shattering bone with one chomp. It also had an exceptional sense of smell, allowing it to detect prey from miles away. Its short, muscular neck could whip its head back and forth, tearing through flesh like a pit bull, only ten times bigger. Now, let's look at Spinosaurus. While longer, up to 50 feet, Spinosaurus may have been lighter than T. rex, weighing around seven to nine tons. Its body was built for aquatic hunting, sleek and streamlined, 
Its most striking feature was the sail on its back, rising over six feet high. Scientists debate its purpose, temperature regulation, mating display, or intimidation. But one thing is clear. It was a vulnerable target in battle. The jaw of Spinosaurus resembled a crocodile's, narrow and long, built for snatching fish, not crushing bones. Its bite force was only about 4,000 pounds, much weaker than T. rex. However, it had long, strong forelimbs with massive claws, perfect for slashing and grappling. So while T. rex is the bone-crushing knockout artist, Spinosaurus is the agile ambush predator, relying on claws and surprise. Speed-wise, modern reconstructions suggest T. rex could run at about 12 mile -a -meter. Impressive for a nine-ton beast, Spinosaurus, with shorter legs and a water-adapted body, was awkward on land, but much more efficient in water. Combat stance is another factor. T. Rex had a rigid spine, balanced posture, and a powerful tail, ideal for close combat. Spinosaurus had a more hunched posture, limited vertical head movement, and its sail made quick turning difficult. If the fight happened on land, especially open ground, T-Rex would bulldoze its opponent. One solid bite could destroy Spinosaurus's jaw, but near a swamp or river, Spinosaurus could use the terrain, lurking, then striking from the side with its claws. It's the clash of styles. One predator bites to kill, the other strikes to wear down. So now we must ask, where would this battle take place? Could Spinosaurus survive in T-Rex's world? The answer is still a mystery. A massive boulder is kicked aside, branches snap, a deafening roar shakes the marsh, and then the clash begins. T-Rex charges first. Each stride is as long as a school bus. Muscles ripple beneath its scaly skin, tail swinging to balance. Its eyes lock onto the enemy, ready to strike with full force. Spinosaurus doesn't back down. It turns sideways, lifting its sail to full height, a move that's both threatening and deceptive. Its claws glisten with mud, twitching in anticipation. And then, boom! The two giants collide. The impact shakes the earth. T-Rex tries to land a devastating bite, but Spinosaurus slips to the side and slashes at T-Rex's neck. Blood sprays, but not enough to stop the tyrant king, T-Rex roars in fury, whips its head around and sinks its jaws into Spinosaurus's flank. A sickening crack echoes. Its teeth pierce deep. Spinosaurus shrieks, retaliating with wild claw strikes. The two beasts twist and slam like ancient gods locked in war. T-Rex uses its weight to press Spino into the mud. But Spinosaurus fights back, rolling over and raking claws across T-Rex's face, leaving a bloody gash beneath its eye. Blood drips, but the fire in T-Rex's eyes only grows hotter. The battle is brutal. Every attack lands with the force of a speeding train. Spinosaurus tries to drag the fight toward the water, where it has the upper hand. T-Rex, in turn, forces Spino onto dry ground, where its power reigns. Then, T-Rex makes a strategic move. It feigns weakness, backing off as if injured. Spinosaurus, sensing victory, lunges forward like a crocodile going for the kill. A fatal mistake. Tit Rex whips its head around and clamps down on Spinosaurus's snout with bone-shattering force. Its massive teeth dig deep into both jaws, locking them shut. A thunderous growl erupts. Spinosaurus thrashes, slashing with its claws. But it may be too late. Just a few more seconds, and T. Rex could crush Spino's scullies completely. But then, a twist of fate. 
A huge wave crashes through the swamp. Both beasts stumble. Spinosaurus breaks free and dives into the muddy water, disappearing beneath the surface. T-Rex roars again. Blood drips from its face. Its eyes glow with rage. But its enemy is gone. The battle has no victor. The battle ended with no clear victor. But what if it wasn't a one-time fight? What if T-Rex and Spinosaurus had to share a world for generations? Who would survive? Let's imagine a diverse ecosystem. Rivers, swamps, forests, and dry plains. In this shared space, strength alone doesn't guarantee survival. The real key? Adaptability. Spinosaurus would dominate in watery areas, rivers, lakes, and swamps. With its semi-aquatic design, it could swim, hunt fish, and snatch prey near the water. Its ability to operate in both land and water is a huge asset. But its biggest weakness is its struggle on dry land. Short hind legs made running or chasing land prey difficult. If water sources dried up due to droughts or climate shifts, Spinosaurus would be in trouble. T-Rex, on the other hand, thrived on dry land. It didn't need swamps to hunt, only open fields and unlucky herbivores like Triceratops or Edmontosaurus. Its crushing bite made short work of even the largest prey. More importantly, T-Rex had a larger brain, with an exceptional sense of smell and sound perception. Paleontologists believe T-Rex was smarter than most theropods, capable of learning, defending territory, and even group hunting. In a shared world, T-Rex would likely expand into broader territories, gradually encroaching on Spinosaurus's wetlands. That's when resource competition becomes deadly. Imagine a hungry T-Rex wading into the swamp, ambushing a distracted Spino. One crushing bite could seriously injure it, even in Spino's home turf. But the reverse? Spinosaurus would struggle to attack T-Rex on land. It's clumsy, unstable, and its bite just isn't strong enough to do major damage. And the most critical factor isn't just the fight. It's the next generation. Survival depends on offspring thriving, stable reproduction, and adaptability. T-Rex laid eggs on dry land, safer from floods and aquatic predators. Spinosaurus had to nest near water, where eggs were more vulnerable. When resources are scarce, omnivores survive longer. T-Rex could scavenge carrion, tracking dead animals from miles away. Spinosaurus relied on live prey, a riskier strategy. So, while Spinosaurus remains a legendary aquatic hunter when it comes to long-term survival, adaptability, and dominating a shared ecosystem, T-Rex stands tall. From thunderous roars to bone-crushing bites, from slashing claws soaked in blood to eyes glowing through the muddy swamp, the battle between T. Rex and Spinosaurus was never just a fight. It was the clash of two opposite survival philosophies. On one side, T. Rex, the ultimate land warrior, muscle like steel, jaws that shattered bones, and a brain built for domination. On the other, Spinosaurus, the shadow in the wetlands, a semi aquatic predator using terrain, agility, and strategy to tip the scales in its favor. In a one-on-one -on -one brawl, T-Rex might hold the advantage with raw power and biting force. But in the grand game of long-term survival, where climates shift, resources dry up, and rivals multiply, things aren't so simple. Both creatures were evolutionary masterpieces, but they weren't built to face each other. Each was king in its own kingdom. And perhaps that's why, millions of years later, we're still debating, still imagining, still replaying each clash in our minds. But now I ask you, and every viewer who's still watching to this very moment, 
What if time turned back and T-Rex found itself in the muddy wetlands of North Africa, where Spinosaurus stalked beneath the murky waters? Would Spino stay hidden, striking from below with surgical precision? Or would T-Rex rip that massive sail to shreds in a single devastating bite? Drop your thoughts in the comments, because I want to hear what your prehistoric instincts tell you. And if you found this video thrilling, thought-provoking, and worth every second, don't forget to smash that like button to support the channel. Hit subscribe so you won't miss what's coming, and turn on the bell so you're the first to witness the next ancient showdown. Because the next video, it's going to blow you out of the water. When the two apex predators of the ancient oceans, Megalodon and Leoplurodon, clash in the deep sea, will the giant shark still hold the crown? Don't miss it. I'll see you in the next prehistoric battle.